This right here is Cosmo 3.0. It's a pretty goofy animatronic face that's made out of ping pong balls and a novelty mouth built into a Macintosh Plus case. I built this at the start of a year when I came into possession of an empty Macintosh Plus case. I figured it just had to happen. This was after I built Cosmo 1.0, which was a synth module that was an animatronic face, and that is in my touring synth at the minute, and Cosmo 2.0, which was a helmet that was a bit of an alcoholic. And then after this was Cosmo 4.0, which was a see-through Cosmo on tank tracks. Funnily enough, the whole Cosmo animatronic face idea came from trying to build an oversized Furby, but the Furby didn't really look like a Furby, it looked like Cosmo. <laughs> However, there's something I've always wanted to do with Cosmo, and we're going to do it today. That is making a facial recognition Cosmo that follows you around the room. The urge for this idea came when I was looking on the internet a couple of weeks ago, and I stumbled on this website called Mac Effects, and they sell transparent Macintosh cases. I then looked at the price of these transparent cases, and I was in a bit of a conundrum. $350 for a see-through retro computer case. Well, that's the sort of money I probably shouldn't be spending. But after a couple of sleepless nights thinking of how good Prison Cosmo could be, I sort of bit the bullet and emptied my piggy bank. Alas, I'm an absolute slave to making things, so it had to happen. Anyway, about a week and a half after that, this transparent case and everything that I needed to build it has turned up. Let's build it. Thanks a lot, Sam. Anyway, here we go. This is the case from Mac FX. And yeah, the quality is pretty tip top. It's up there, definitely up there. And here's a box of stuff that I bought from a website called Pimeroni, including this Raspberry Pi, which we need for the facial recognition. I didn't know it was an actual computer. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a computer? Well, it's actually a computer computer. What? After physically wrenching and performing an exorcism on the computer, I decided to keep on going and use the tutorial sketch for the facial recognition sort of face tracking thing. And then I kind of got lost in having a bit of a twiddle around and watching it following me. It was pretty amazing. Oh, the power of computers nowadays, huh? I then had to put together the eye assemblies using these ping pong balls. I cut the back of them off and cut through the pupils so I could stick in a Raspberry Pi camera without it looking that much different. And it's pretty good. And then I burnt myself with a hot glue gun. Oh, that burn. This is going to be the face of Cosmo. I've got it measured out so it's going to fit exactly. I just need to cut some holes because I haven't got a laser cut. I'm going to redesign the standard eye sockets that I made for the old Cosmos. Uh, I'm basically just going to remove the top bit so the actual camera has more visibility. I then got out the low spot mini and 3D printed all the parts and then put them together like a well-to-do gentleman. I've shared all the parts so if you want to build your own Cosmo, you can do. And then I did a bit of experimentation, adjusting the code so it worked nicely. It even works for the plastic. That is so strange. <laughs> After that, it was a case of measuring out all the holes that I needed a cut for the mouth and the eyes and the bits and the bobs and this and the that and the rude alleys. Lovely, jubbly, screw all together. And we've nearly got ourselves a Cosmo face. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then it's a case of putting it together. You just pop the one on the front and then you can admire your workmanship. Have a look at it, see if it works. Double check if you've made it done right. And you know, it looks lovely. Look at it going. It can follow you like a like crazy lunatic. Oh, that's so beautiful. I then figured out how to mount the Raspberry Pi on the side of the Macintosh in case I need to make any changes. And then it's time for the break. We use this broken Furby and then we uh, cut its eyes out of course and then it's a case of making a bit more 3D printed parts like a plinth because Cosmo is the control body of a Furby. I then do a little bit of low budget film prop making to make the Furby look like it's sort of uh, like controlling Cosmo. I stick some ribbon cables in its eyes and it looks beautiful and it's a case of mounting that one, connecting it up to the face and then yeah we're, we're done. Look at that, how cool. Is that? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at Furbs. Oh, lovely jubbly. Oh, and now people are going to be able to watch Cosmo look at them around the room. Maybe I should make Cosmo do some robot groans or something. It'll be a little bit creepier. Hey, it's me, Cosmo. I'm so chuffed with this one. I've got to be honest. So smooth. So there we go. Now we know what the brains of Cosmo look like and it can follow you around the room. I hope this project was a little bit of an insight of how to merge a bunch of things together to make something a little bit different. And if you want to experience Cosmo following you around the room, well you can because it's going to be in the Museum of Everything Else which is going to open at some point at the start of next year. I've currently got a grass wall that's got a load of Cosmos in here. I think it would be absolutely incredible to make every single eye do this on there so it sort of follows you and stuff but I'm gonna need like 20 of these Raspberry 
pie finger majiggies. I know they're computers. <laughs> but if anybody's watching and wants to work together on like a bulk deal or something of like 20 Raspberry Pis and 20 cameras, then please let me know because I I'm reasonably serious about this idea, maybe. And like I said, I'm a bit of a slave to building these kind of things for videos and this, that, and the other. So if you want to help out a little bit, then please go and check out my Patreon. There's loads of extra content over there, including mega mixes, live streams, a bunch of vlogs and stuff. And all Patreon's names go on a knob uh, on one of the machines. So if you want your name on a knob, then go and check it out over there. And yeah, until next time, I'm Look Mum No Computer. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it.